Hey everyone, I'm Trapper and today we are at the Disneyland Resort to give you an update of Downtown Disney. We're gonna walk through the whole thing and show you what's different. I forgot to say my signature line, so let's get going. There we go, all right. Uh, Downtown Disney, Earl of Sandwich, still here as of May 11th, but uh, from everything that I've heard, they are on notice. They're a month by month lease and literally they could be told that they're, they're leaving at any given time. We'll show you where they're moving temporarily before their new permanent location opens up. Uh, that's going to be at the end of Downtown Disney. There's a, there's a spot that you can already see where they're going to go. So we will show that to you. Um, of course, we've got World of Disney right here, the biggest store on uh, or in Downtown Disney. And we'll poke through there at the end to, to give a, an update on like some new merch that we might find in there. If we've seen the merchandise elsewhere in the parks like Disneyland Park or Disney California Adventure, those videos uh, should already be live on the channel by the time this one hits. So you can go check those out. We're only gonna show you stuff that's unique to downtown Disney in this video. Uh, this isn't exclusively a merchandise video. It's mostly going to be like a tour. I'm not necessarily gonna have my camera on the whole time like some of our walkthroughs for uh, downtown Dis or, uh, for Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, but there will be a good portion of time where the camera is on. It's also about one o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday, again, Saturday, May 11th. And uh, I, that means that I foresee it being rather crowded as we get further on into the land. You could probably already tell that just from this little area that we see right here, which means um, I, I, whenever it's too busy, I generally don't film. So like I said, the camera probably won't be on the whole time. They have updated the areas around the resort for Pixar Fest, but surprisingly this area right here, which is usually home to a lot of decorations for the different seasons, is pretty open. That's okay though, I love this wall with the, the waterfalls. I mean, look at all this bench seating right here. It's sunny and there's not really anybody sitting on there. It's only 75 degrees. It's actually kind of nice in the sun today. We got Starbucks over here off to our left. Now, I really don't know a whole lot about coffee and the Starbucks here. So Amy, um, is there anything like, can you use Disney gift cards in there or how does all that sort of stuff work? I don't remember if you can at this one. I think you might be able to in the park. Um, so I do know though for Starbucks Rewards members, you can earn points on purchases in the park, um, but you can't redeem any of your points at the two locations inside Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. However, you can redeem your points at this location because it's in downtown Disney and not actually in the park. So one year on my birthday, I was actually able to redeem my birthday um, drink reward at this location in the downtown Disney, but I would not be able to do that at the ones in the park. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for clearing that up because I, I never remember. <clears throat> Behind her here was uh, Naples Ristorante. Uh, this is a, a great restaurant in downtown Disney. Haven't eaten here in five years. We need to go back. This is as close as we have to uh, Via Napoli in uh, Epcot. If you're familiar with Walt Disney World, Naples is pretty close to to Via Napoli. Really, really great place. They also have the Napolini Pizzeria if you just want a quick service pizza. Salt and straw, of course, probably my like favorite ice cream at the Disneyland Resort just because of how unique it is. Don't let the flavor names throw you off. Yeah, they're they're pretty strange, like lavender this or, uh, you know, goat cheese. <laughs> yeah, goat cheese. Uh, where's the goat cheese? I know it's on here. Oh, they have a pear and blue cheese. <laughs> I, I promise that their flavors are, uh, they're, they're pretty good still, all the same. The uh, salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough is a favorite. I feel like there's a mint one too. Oh yeah, freckled mint chocolate chip. I know those are pretty standard compared to some of the others. Like, well, there's the honey lavender specifically, but. And uh, look, honey balsamic. Doesn't that just sound strange for ice cream? But, but don't knock it till you try it. Amy just noticed as we were walking by here that California Soul has closed. So that's an update. And it says that something new and exciting is coming soon. So there, yeah, there's some news for you. I mean, honestly, I never really saw anybody shopping in there anyway. So it doesn't surprise me in the least. But of course, the main reason why I wanted to do this update is because the last time we were through here was February. 
and we like to refresh these every three months or so but this is why the construction walls are down you probably saw this from some other vloggers we're a little late to the game reporting on Paseo and Centrico being open but um, it, it looks a whole lot nicer now uh, than it was even as the uh, uva bar a uh, uva bar I never know how to pronounce that what the correct way to, to call it was but it doesn't matter now because it's Centrico uh, we have Tiendita open over here as well so this little uh, quick service booth and that is all new pele soccer was here so from here forward we we had this already but yeah um having this new area open in the center looks so nice lots of people uh, enjoying their time here uh in this newly opened area now there's a lot more construction still going on in the other end of the uh area and we're going to show you that as well Black Tap Crazy Shakes. People often ask me, where is the best milkshake at Disneyland? And it is right there, downtown Disney. Black Tap Crazy Shakes, hands down, the best shakes at the resort. So Paseo and Centrico are sit-down table service restaurants, but Tiendita is a quick service. What do they have? Um, based on a quick glance, it looks like it's going to be some Mexican food. So you've got some tacos for about 13 anywhere between 12 and $14. You've got some burritos, uh, some quesadillas, some nachos, ceviche, uh, salads, tostadas, and just some sides. Like you can actually get guac and chips. That sounds like a good snack sometime. Um, and then have a couple desserts and you have some kids meals as well. Uh, Tortilla Joe's here. The building is still here. The sign is still up on the wall. But this place has been closed for about a month now. A Tortilla Joe's is gone. I don't know what they're putting here or what they're doing with it, but um, Tortilla Joe's is owned by the same people who own Paseo and Centrico. So they literally just built a new Mexican place, um, you know, further into the, the downtown Disney area. And then they're getting rid of this area. Uh, and then this was the Taqueria. And this was kind of like a before um, it was like a Chipotle. Now, the new Tiendita is not a Chipotle, it's like a quick service window, as opposed to, you know, like the you build your own bowl. But, um, but anyhow, that's uh, just an update there with some of the new restaurants that have appeared at Downtown Disney. Uh, we are gonna continue on this direction. We'll probably uh, see how much time we have. We might even walk through the Disneyland Hotel because it's it's always a joy to walk through the Disneyland Hotel grounds and area and things like that. And there's a couple of new Lego displays up. Amy says for May the 4th. I had no idea these were gonna be here. When I saw them this morning, I was like, oh, that's cool. So we have Finn and BB-8. BB-8 is probably my favorite of the ones that they have up here. Uh, but there's one more that is a little bit further down this way uh, over there by the monorail track. And that's gonna be Captain Phasma, although she's not quite as reflective in Lego form, but still cool. Camera up as we approach the construction area. They've been doing a, a number of things over here in front of the Star Wars trading post. Hello. Um, I have no idea what they've done because nothing looks different but it, it's now open it's back open again so that you can see the star wars trading post without staring at construction walls of course there's more construction walls over there uh, we'll go around that in a second to show you something but i want to swing off to the left now and uh, show you over here so this is the parkside markets this is where all the new quick service locations are going soul sister and the like uh, all the way over here it, it's coming along quite well and of course this new stage area has been open for quite a few months now I, I love the the new little green area the grass a lot of people using it right now just to, to rest and relax but uh, this is going to be a happen in place once the parkside markets open especially and then right on the other side of this um and i mean check out all these mickeys isn't this cool on this wall here i feel like that wall is kind of new I don't know how new. I don't really pay attention to downtown Disney a whole lot. It's just like a place I walk through to get to the park. <laughs> um, but here it is, Din Tai Fung. Now this has made great improvements just in the last two weeks. When we were here two weeks ago, all that brown was just like steel framing. And now they've got all the facade, the woodwork. I mean, it, it's coming along really nicely. I cannot wait till this opens. We are definitely gonna be giving it a try. Uh, Amy just said that we, we were gonna go. Uh, we'll come back, we'll go back. But they got uh, Polynesian dancers up here. Uh, it's uh, Pacific Islander Heritage Month. 
in May, so I think they're... Yeah, I heard him do the choo! There, he's doing it. Oh, I don't know if you could hear, hear that. from the future because we forgot to do this earlier. So we're gonna do it now. We actually wanna turn right to come over this way uh, by the ESPN building on the other side of these construction walls because I told you I was gonna show you where Earl of Sandwich is gonna go. Once they end its permanent location up front, there's a temporary location back here until they also relocate it to its new permanent location. And right over here is where you'll be able to find it. Now, again, it's not open yet still open at the front of downtown Disney. But whenever they get the news that they have to move, this is where they are moving. Okay, now we're gonna go walk through the Disneyland hotel area just for fun because it's so beautiful and so picturesque and scenic, especially with the sunshine and the clear blue skies. Ah, ah, so nice. I don't think I noticed this before, but uh, take a look at the doors. They got the, the crisscross monorails and, and the wind just suddenly picked up. So apologies if there's a wind in the video. It does feel really good on the person. Just kind of, kind of windy. Yeah, the new tower, uh, Discovery? Is it Discovery Tower? I think it's Discovery. Uh, you can see the crisscross monorails are there on the pool. We'll get a little closer, we're gonna walk through just because we can. This is a great place to come to, to rest and relax too, because um, the sun doesn't penetrate these uh, chairs and things whenever the sun is high in the sky. So yeah, here's another good rest and relax spot besides the Grand Californian, which we're generally talking about. The, the coffee house here at the uh, Disneyland Hotel is actually under refurb. It's on the refurb list and it will be closed uh, for a few months. I don't think it is even opening in the next six weeks and that's all the further we know about uh, the refurb schedule. So it says to go to Tangaroa Terrace if you want anything. And here's the pool. Isn't it awesome? And you can see Discovery Tower there in the background. Love it. Speaking of Tangaroa Terrace, I love this restaurant. The food is good. The ambiance is amazing. Makes me feel like Hawaii. Ah, ah. I know we're going to Walt Disney World in five days, but still, we don't know when we're going back to Hawaii. Look, more rest and relaxation spots. We're actually not going to go into any of the towers or anything. We're just gonna turn. There's Trader Sam's Tiki Bar there just gonna walk right back out. We just wanted to walk through here very quickly. Let's take another moment to just soak in the scenery and go. <sighs> and we popped back in now and are headed back. So uh, downtown Disney is really not all that large uh, for, you know, I didn't have the camera on the whole time, of course, but it really doesn't take that long to walk from, from one side to the other. Uh, so when we pop into different stores, we'll put the camera back on, but I'm not going to have it on the whole time as we walk back through. Uh, we might poke into the Grand Californian as well. Probably will just for, again, for funsies because we want to, right? I know we mentioned it earlier on, but we didn't actually focus on it too much. But uh, Pixar Fest does have some displays up in downtown Disney and Benjamin loves to look at the characters. That's, uh, he, he's excited. He, uh, you can come over here and you can see some more characters. And so it was super, super fun for him to look at all the characters as he walked by and, and point out the ones he knows and he really enjoyed that. Well, here's an update. This fits in with the nature of the video. So a uh, Disney home store used to have the Wonderground Gallery right here, but the Disney dress shop is here now. So let's poke on in. So whereas before the Disney dress shop was mostly just uh, specialty clothing and dresses, I feel like now it is more like an apparel and merchandise store in general because we have the Tomorrowland line of merchandise that we saw 
uh, at Disneyland. However, they have a lot more than just what we saw at Disneyland, like this button-up shirt. Uh, looks really, really nice. I think we saw the spirit jersey over here, but I don't believe that we saw the lounge fly that accompanies it. So the Disney dress shop has even more merchandise along that line, plus this uh, orange uh, salmon peachy sort of colored shirt there that goes with it as well. They also have a tumbler. Uh, so this is this is really nice. They, it's basically everything that we saw at Disneyland, but uh, a couple of different varieties of clothing. Here's a, another t-shirt for it too. They even have socks. <laughs> $16.99 for these Tomorrowland socks. I still love these ears and would love to be able to get them for myself without the bow and the medallion. Um, but I feel like the ears might be quite, like may be spaced a little too far out if you took the bow off. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, it says Tomorrowland on the side of this too. That's pretty neat. It's just, you know, glittery. That's the other thing. Here's a few apparel items that we haven't seen in the parks that is located in the Disney dress shop. Wow, that's kind of loud. What do you think? I think, it's, I think the dress is cute. I don't know if I'd wear the pants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the pants. The pants are more loud than the dress, I suppose. Cause <laughs> you do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have a, a shirt version, long sleeve shirt version. And they also have a hat that goes with it. Oh, here's another shirt, a zip up. Um, the, so this is a, like a light jacket. This is the type of a jacket, just how thin the material is. This is the type of jacket you need in the summertime here. Um, in the evening when it gets a little chilly, you don't need anything super thick, just, just something to, to keep the chill out. And they have uh, this little purse as well. It's, I don't know if this, is this a purse? What is this? Wristlet. Wristlet? Okay. Put the camera on Centrico again. So Centrico is the lower area down here and Paseo is the upper restaurant. Uh, we'll, we'll go by the entrance to Paseo in a minute, but this area specifically is Centrico. And it makes sense, right? Because Centrico is in the center of this area. And then there's the entrance to Paseo. I don't know if that's open yet though. I don't think Paseo is open. I haven't, like, there's no, nobody up in the tables up on the balcony. Uh, there's, like, no, is this even the entrance? Oh, there's somebody walking in there. Oh, it's on, it's around that yeah. side? We are passing back by Paseo again in the evening, and we do notice that it is indeed open. The doors were just open. There's a whole bunch of strollers in there. People are going in, so just wanted to update so that you are aware, Paseo is definitely open. The signage here says 4 to 10 p.m. every day, so we were walking by at like 1 in the afternoon, and that's why we didn't notice. So then this was the Disney dress shop before, right next to Marceline's Confectionery. Uh, this was the dress shop, and... Uh, now, it says, the sign right there says it's moved, but there's nothing here in its place right now. We don't know what's coming here. I thought maybe Wonderground Gallery would have moved. Sorry for all the odd interjections in this video, but I did want you to know that Amy told me she found out that uh, Marceline's Confectionery is actually taking over that space where the Disney dress shop used to be. So it is expanding into a larger space. That's just something that we figured out after we had gotten home from our time at Disneyland. Well, we're gonna go into the Grand California now. Might as well poke in there. Stepping into this lobby never gets old. It's beautiful. It's cool, nice and air-conditioned, relaxing, grand. It's called the Grand Californian. Grand and majestic. Uh, find a seat in here. They've got plenty of couches, comfortable things, comfortable chairs to sit in. And occasionally they'll have music going on right here. I mean, the music is still playing, even though there's no pianist, but they'll have a live pianist uh, who plays sometimes. They've got a fireplace over there. Uh, Amy, oh, the, Amy just saw that this one just opened up, so she's gonna plop and she's gonna sit, and I think we're gonna take a quick break. It's also a good place for a nap, too. If you don't have a hotel to go back to because you're already checked out and you're looking for somewhere to crash in the afternoon, could come here and take a quick break. <laughs> the only item of note is if you do go into a hotel, you do have to go back through security in order to get back into downtown Disney. That applies for the Disneyland Hotel and the Grand Californian. Even if you're not staying at those hotels, you do have to enter the safe zone. This is the safe zone. 
Uh, everybody on this side has been through security. If you go into a hotel, you leave the safe zone and do have to go back through security to get back into downtown Disney. Now we have one final item on the agenda and that is to go into World of Disney, sometimes called WOD, W-O-D, World of Disney. And we are going to look for new merchandise items only found in the World of Disney that we have not seen in the parks. And right away, I see this zip-up hoodie that is at the Pixar Fest display right in the entrance um, from the Starbucks side. And I have not seen this hoodie yet in all of the Pixar displays and Pixar Fest stuff that we've seen. More turning red merchandise, and they have a um, tank top sleeveless shirt here that goes with it. I feel like these are new. So these are model kits. They have uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle. Haunted Mansion and Space Mountain, $29.99. Here is a look at the box. It is approximately 1.50 in the afternoon and this is actually a really good time to be in World of Disney. I feel like there's not a lot of people in here, very spacious and open. Whenever we walk through here, like at six o'clock on our way out, it's usually like slammed wall to wall people. You know, when I first saw this shirt, I immediately thought of Tootsome Chocolate Emporium at Universal. This was not, like Iron Man was not what I initially thought of. I'm like, what is that doing here? It, it's just the, it's the steampunk look. It's, that's all it is. It's the, it's the steampunkness of the shirt. Well, here we go. This makes a whole lot more sense now. So when we were at Disney California Adventure doing a DCA merch update, I saw this red flower in a set of ears. In fact, they're over there. We'll go look at them uh, for this video as well. But this, has, it has a whole line of merchandise, a skirt, uh, a dress, uh, or actually that might be the dress just with a jacket on top. But um, it, at least now it sort of makes sense. It, it fits with something. There's a whole bunch of them that are all themed this way. And uh, this isn't supposed to be here. I don't know how that got there. Um, we'll just put it back there. But uh, this is, this is what the ears look like. And you know, that was pretty much it uh, as far as the unique things that aren't available in the parks. Th there were a few more items here or there, little tiny things that I didn't bother focusing in on, but nothing like big, no huge lines of merchandise that aren't available in the park. In fact, I've seen things that are in the park, but like they're incomplete. And in World of Disney, the whole merchandise line is there. So actually World of Disney, good place to check especially on the first day of your trip you first get here maybe you don't have a park ticket go through world of disney pop through there see if there's anything that you like my suggestion with merchandise is that you find something you like and take a picture of it but don't buy it yet wait okay because the park and the different lands in the park all have unique merchandise so get into the park see what items are there and if there's something you like better in the park buy that if you can't find anything you like better than what you found at World Disney, then you know where to go and find it. That's usually so, uh, if you're only gonna be here for a day, it's hard to make that um, advice work. But if you're gonna be here for three or four days and you're gonna be in the parks several times, or you have a park hopper or something like that, I usually recommend using the first day or two to just window shop. And then towards the end of your trip, do your actual shopping once you've had a chance to look at everything. Because the last thing you wanna do is blow your souvenir budget and then find something that you liked better the next day. And that's it for our time here today at Downtown Disney, giving you a update, a walkthrough, showing you construction, uh, things that are open now, things that are closed, things that have changed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Got questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer them. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching and we will see you again next time.